At long last, Sorcery Contested Realm is here. It's been a long time coming. I think it's been about a year since the uh, Kickstarter hit my email. Since I get alerts on stuff like that. And the moment I saw it, I knew this one was going to be a good one. There are plenty of card games that I've skipped by. I'm um, looking at you, MetaZoo. I don't know, not my style. Uh, but this one, right away, I knew I was going to be into it, and I made my pledge. And then the next day, I saw that Rudy was a big backer of this one as well, so I, f I felt pretty justified uh, in getting some boxes of sorcery. Here, let me get this down out of the way. I actually went pretty deep on this. I got seven cases and... Uh, uh, some play mats and uh, the, the starter decks, which um, those actually have not come yet. But I did get six cases in the mail today. And I now get to open up my first Alpha Sorcery Contested Realm box. I mean, there's a lot to like here. An old school TCG for players with a rich imagination, tactical nerve, and an appreciation for hand painted art. I have a lot of that there, um, so I'm sold. Uh, each of these boxes was 130 bucks through the Kickstarter, and as of today, they're each selling for about 450 bucks on eBay. So um, that's kind of neat. I will probably go ahead and flip some of these to recoup my investment hang on to some more for the hopefulness that they will go up in price in the future and maybe I'll even play the game so I'm definitely more of a collector investor with this uh, I'm loving the art and the style um, but I, it's been a long time since I've really been a, uh, a player of physical cards uh, I really hope this does take off um, because I'd like to see it do well. I think it's a, a unique uh, take on current card games. There we go. All right, let's get into this little the pledge pack. I think is what this is. Um, box topper, basically. Got a sorcery avatar right there. Uh, sorcerer avatar in foil. Very nice. Um, so, and we will be looking for foils and potentially some curi curiosas, which there's, those are hard to spot because they're kind of essentially like early proof versions or there's some kind of like different version that I'm not familiar with all of the cards here. Winter River, an ordinary site of cold, crisp recovery. I do love the rarity um, um, scheme. For this game, an ordinary site, basically like a common, ordinary magic, exceptional mortal, bane of all evil. So exceptional, I think, is like the uncommon, and unique would be like rare, rubble, a barren site, demolished and destroyed, destroyed provides no mana. I mean, just look at the art; it is so classic. Jeff Easley, longtime fantasy artist. And here's the artist right here. So this is a good little little uh, cheat sheet for me here. Um, some familiar names on here for sure. And some Maddox, Severine, Jeff Menges. Who else? Liz Danforth, Jeff Easley, Margaret Organ Keen. Very classic Magic the Gathering artist from back in like Mirage days. Excellent. Rosetta Girls, yeah, so um, uh, the art from the estate of Frank Frazetta is part of this. Uh, I'll see if I can try to spot some of those. Very cool. All right, let's open some packs here. Um, look for some big hits. Maybe they would be like a foil. They essentially have kind of like a Power 9. The Alchemy 9, I think is what they call it. Uh, we've got Exceptional Magic, Call to War, House Arn, Bannerman, 
undertow exceptional sight very nice so you've got atlas sights oh cool we got a uh, oh it's not an avatar it looks like an avatar you've got atlas cards which are basically like your lands they would provide you your mana uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I don't know all the ins and outs of how to play the game uh, but I really do like the idea Man, the card quality feels nice very slick gloss got that same kind of like good quality of what any modern card game should be unique mortal with many a suitor very nice so well, well there's my rare I suppose and I should probably organize these in some way we got exceptionals we got uniques and we've got ordinaries over here ordinary beast coral reef kelpie ordinary magic incinerate deal four damage to each other unit at target location near the caster or an ally dragon fun stuff mercenaries muck lampreys awesome look at these guys they got burrowing and submerge so I think like on a site they can burrow basically like under it so they can't be like directly attacked yeah, I think you'd have to destroy the site man look at this look at that explosion Matthias Frisk the artist there that is some that was hand painted that looks really nice common sense blink ogre goons that's so that's so alpha right there exorcism man that's good that is some spooky stuff right there love it gothic tower ordinary sight awesome all right I'm enjoying this I'm just gonna kind of this is gonna be a long video I'm gonna slowly go through all these packs here just marveling at this at the uh, the art get exceptional magic iron shackles bridge troll awesome crusade unique aura to reclaim the holy land you may summon earth minions to affected sites allied earth minions occupying affected sites have plus one power so you'd probably build around this with your earth minions deck right crusade fire harpooners man there's a lot going on in that art right there very cool fire harpoons swamp buffalo sleep beautiful roaming monster petrosian cavalry pirate ship rain of arrows drown miracle workers Palaburi bats. They're airborne and they're burrowing. Uh, that's kind of interesting. So you can fly and dig in a rustic village. So probably actually should start a pile for my my sites. Basically, that's your your mana source. So you'd want to have those <clears throat> to build a deck with, right? Got an exceptional and an ordinary and a foil avatar get those sorted out how are you guys doing anyway shout out down below have you heard of sorcery are you planning on picking any of this up the the beta set will be out later this year so you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on uh, alpha just to play it we've got an exceptional site we've got two exceptional sites exceptional dwarves and a unique aura of hubris humble humbled Atlantean fate so yeah the beta set will be out um, you'll be able to you know, pay less to, to play this game hopefully uh, your local game store will be getting supply of this at some point crones lightning bolt just the classic deals deal three damage to a random unit at target location very interesting just, it's it's cool to see like the kind of the difference between you would all would be familiar with like the Magic the Gathering version of Lightning Bolt. It's only one red. This one is going to be two air, and it does random unit at a location. So hopefully they got this game all balanced out so that it's fun to play. Rimland Nomads, Entangle Terrain, Fade, Vile Imp, and a remote desert. An ordinary sight. Great. Uh, let's see. Ordinary, ordinary, ordinary. Great. Got an exceptional, couple exceptional sites. There we go. 
looking for these. There's uniques, and then I think there's one level above the unique, which I already forget what that's called. Mud flow, exceptional. Gnome hollows, look at this. Units with three or more power can't enter this site. See? Yeah, there's a lot of like a lot of stuff going on with this game. Phantom Steed. Undertaker Engine, an elite. So there's unique and then there's elite. So this one I think is even better. An elite automaton of mechanic cryptopsy. Oops, hold on, get it in there. At the end of your turn, you may burrow and unburrow any combination of artifacts and minions at this site. So you can hide stuff and unhide it. Interesting stuff going on there. Sacred scarabs, pit vipers, polar bears, sandworm, critical strike, wow. Men of Lang. Alvaline Dryads, Ogre Goons, and a simple village. That's great. Uh, let's see here. Put the village over here. All right. Gorgeous art. I think that's definitely like the, the, the first draw to this game is that old school art feel. And there's definitely like a lot of you know, card gamers from back in the day that are really going to appreciate that, I think. With a root spider. Recall. Look at that. Psionic Blast. Yeah, that's cool. That's really striking there. And a Wicked Witch, an elite mortal with a forlorn flock. Other nearby minions have minus two power. Wow, that's great. Dan Seagrave painted that. That's awesome. Scorpions. Mannequin, Firebolts, Blood Ravens, Swan Maidens, Longbowmen, Caravan, Exorcism again, Sea Serpent, and then there's that Sorcerer Avatar. So I wonder how common it is to get different avatars um, in the packs here. You kind of, I think you kind of need it to play the game, so maybe you get a few of them. Uh, haven't seen a foil yet. Might be relatively uncommon to get foil. Sling Pixies. Uh, nice Nath Gnomes. Awakened Mummies. Oh, man, those are good. Exceptional Undead Roused from Rest. Summon Awakened Mummies burrowed safely. When an enemy unit moves onto the ground above them, they unburrow and intercept. Oh, that's great, like a trap card. You activated my trap mummies. And a elite spirit, Vril Revenant. It's got Void Walk. Not sure what Void Walk is. I have to read the whole rules, right? Gain one power this turn. Pay one to gain one power. Overpower, Heat Ray, Common Sense, Fenvale Muse, Wicker Mannequin, Blood Raven, Sedge Crabs. There we go. The ordinary beast that scrape and sidle. That's great. Gray Wolves. Mad Dash, Autumn River, beautiful, look at that, like a Bob Ross painting. Genesis, look at your next spell, you may put it on the bottom of your spell book. Awesome. Wow, I'm loving it. Let's see here. I think there is a thing I saw where the Curiosas have a different name on the card back. It's possible that um, you can get alternate versions that were called Curiosas, which were basically like early test versions where the game was called something different, like Spell Table or Spell Blast or something like that. Um, and so remains to be seen like if those are worth more at this point. Um, so I may have to like just fine tooth comb my cards here once I'm done. I can only do so much on camera while I'm trying to open this and enjoy this beautiful art. Poison Nova. Exceptional magic of mephitic miasma lethal deal one damage to each other nearby minion. So if that's lethal damage, is it just like death touch everything that it touches from nearby? That's pretty cool. Look at this guy, Pudge Butcher. Dang, exceptional demon. Roiling Boulder. Very cool. And an Escalon Phoenix, an elite beast of candescent splendor. If a Skellion Escalon Phoenix would take damage from a Fire Spell or Ability against plus one power this turn instead, that seems good, right? 
crabs, the wolves. Old Salt Anchorman. That's great. Border Militia. Deep Sea Mermaids. Wow. Beautiful. Rain of Arrows. Wall of Fire. Drown. Grapple Shot. So, yeah. Being a long-time fan of Magic and seeing the art style change from so long ago. When I started playing, like, there were still packs of like fourth edition that I was able to get a hold of even though they were a couple years old and then seeing like revised and basically like <clears throat> a lot of that older art it's got a classic nostalgic feel to it but even now like painting in this old nostalgic style they're able to insert more detail put a little more thought into you know how these things were are, are painted like so hold on hold on hold comparing this to some old revised that I have laying around here like those are really cool the same eye healer but they've the artists of today are I don't know just a little more proficient in their craft Douglas Schuler has been uh, painting and drawing for a long, long time. This was probably early in his career. So this this has that old school vibe, but a Douglas Schuler art of today might look very different. Artists grow in their craft quite a bit. This Fear by Mark Poole. Mark Poole's faces may look a little more modern you know 30 years later at, at this point um, so yeah like I, I just it's really cool to see classic nostalgic art with current like um, processes and, and thought put into it uh, I think it's I think this is gonna be a, a big hit my opinion Tell me your opinion down below. Here we go. Quarrelsome Kobolds. Enough of all that. Exceptional Goblins. Razor ruck Ruckus. Kite Archer. Immediately after performing a rain strike, Kite Archer may take a step. Ah, oh, that's very cool. You can kind of like, just kind of sort of guess at the rules, which I really should just read the whole book. Um, but based on like what something can do. So like, this thing can make a step after it performs a rain strike inferring that like other things could not do something like that monster hunter look at this guy genesis kill a nearby monster i think genesis is like etb nowhere is safe from these elite beasts wow hounds of ondaros airborne burrowing submerged void walk nearby enemies permanently lose stealth this is like your big bad right here it's like nickel bolus so something that's got like a ton of keywords on it that's great Beautiful. Porcupine puffer fish, man. The camel, the sleep, the trolls, boss troll, and the autumn river again. Great. Really digging this. All right, well, we'll pick up the pace a little bit here now that we're 18 minutes into this video or more. Boulder, kobolds, kite archer. Belfry, an elite monument to common conviction. At the end of your turn, untap all nearby allies. Very nice. Pirate ship, very cool. This is a big set. There's like 400 plus cards in this alpha set. Um, which is, that's, that makes a lot of sense. Kind of like kick it off. Get going with this set and make it, uh, make it fun to play with. Uh, I really hope that they are able to find success and continue creating new sets for this. Monster Hunter, Poisonous Dagger, a cursed albatross. Look at this guy, he's like, he's a cursed, oh, there we go, this one's good. And an ancient dragon, elite dragon of breathtaking majesty, airborne. Tap to deal four damage to each other unit at target location nearby, man. Fire and death right there. Polar bears, swan maidens, longbowmen. Wall of Ice, classic. Prince Wizard, there's a Timmy right there. Great. 
All right, where's those foils at? Aqueduct, exceptional sight. Changeling. Moon Clan Werewolf. Man, that's good. Alan Pollock. Screaming Skull, elite relic of unbridled rage. Whenever bearer attacks and kills an enemy, it untaps by Melissa Benson. That's awesome. Sandstorm, Scarabs, Polar Bear, Sand Room. Oh, I got a foil. Onyx Core. Hey, this is a good one, I think. Uh, let's see. Unique Relic of Geotic Potency. So, very cool in the common slot, the ordinary slot, I got a unique relic. Onyx Core provides, uh, I believe that's Earth, and then one to its controller. So, I think this is one of the. This might be one of the nine. <laughs> I might pause here and like kind of look this up real quick just to be safe. I'm definitely going to put this into a sleeve. And maybe even a top loader. Get it in there. My clumsy fingers before I mess it all up. Onyx core foil. So yeah, and on the foils, the back is not the, uh, the sorcery back. It is another... Just copy the art, which is pretty neat. Onyx Core. Um, Lone Tower. All right, real quick, I'm going to look it up. Yeah, so pretty good, meaning that on eBay right now, the non-foil Onyx Cores are going for about 200 bucks, And the foils are listed at about 5000 Now... There's no way that that will hold, of course. But I think that's a pretty good pull. So I'm happy with that one. Go ahead and put that one over here. Let's get some more of that. That was great. That was great. Very cool to see that. Now, talking about numbers here, like right now, um, you know, the Kickstarters are going out. So not everyone has their hands on these. Um, so I, th I imagine that prices, the current prices will either hold or come down a bit. And then as the game gains more popularity, perhaps when a certain YouTuber posts a big video about it and gets the hype going on this, um, more people will find the game, more people may get excited about it, and then the prices will stabilize, hold, go up over time guess we'll see I'm just kind of here for the ride got a black obelisk and elite monument and I think I got another foil here so that's cool wicker mannequin firebolts maidens blood ravens crabs maze minotaur got another elite um, or eight I got an elite foil and a unique foil that's great an elite monster snarls around the corner maze minotaur Enemy minions can't move themselves out of a maze of nine locations nearby maze minotaur. Ah, it's interesting. So, I've watched a little bit of gameplay of this, and it's it's unclear what cards are just like the best of the best at this point. The the cores I'm sure are good. There's there's mix cards, that, and unfortunately I just don't know all the ins and outs of what does what so that's what makes me more of a collector than a player at this point Get the spectral stalker look at this guy there Jeff Easley that one just caught my eye he's got like a classic style very detailed that's great ordinary Holy ground, exceptional sight. Upwelling, wow, there's another foil. So here come the foils. Uh, Iron Shackles, Puppet Master, wow. Elite Spirit pulls the strings. Gain control of all tap minions here until Puppet Master leaves the realm, wow. Mad Dash, Anchorman, not Ron Burgundy though. Swan Maiden's Ordinary Foil. And it's got that art on the back. Very cool. I'm going to put that one in that sleeve as well. Exorcism and a desert.
I don't know if that one needs a top loader. We'll just leave it over there. Shrink. Wow, here come the foils. I was worried for a while with the uh, almost that whole first stack having no foils, but there they are. Shrink. Lighthouse. Oh, okay, this is actually great because, hold on. This one is essentially like a dual land, right? An exceptional sight of water and air. Uh, water and air, yeah. Doesn't do like in another effect. Like a, like a lot of these sites have had, like when it enters, it kind of does something. But this one is just like a pure mana um, card, Atlas card, which that's really cool. Might check on that one as well. Phantom Steed, Exceptional Beast. And we got a Curtison, Cortison Thias. There we go, it's a Frazetta art. Unique mortal of sedition and seduction. Can't have that in Magic the Gathering. Genesis, during their next turn, each player is controlled by the previous one. Whoa. During their next turn, each player is controlled by the previous one. During their next turn, each player is controlled. How's that going to work? Each player is, wow, okay, like... Judge, <laughs> how do you do that? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Ordinary mortal, spin attack, lightning bolt. Assorted animals, another elite, actually. Wow, look at this. Elite magic of Motley Menagerie. Search your spellbook for different beasts with a combined mana cost of X or less. Oh, it's an X cast cost. Reveal them, put them into your hand, shuffle your spellbook. This seems pretty busted, right? So it costs two, I think it's Earth. And then X, and you can find, you can tutor for whatever you want that costs whatever you pay for it. That seems like a good one. Grapple Shot, Rain of Arrows, Drown, and a Dark Tower. Great, so you got a couple interesting ones here. The Assorted Animals, I'm going to put that in a top loader here. So the, the foils here are not super rare. Gotten... Uh, four so far uh, the lighthouse I'll put that into a sleeve keep that in my, my hit pile I'm not sure if those dual lands are really big hits they may be relatively common well I guess they're exceptional so relatively uncommon but maybe they're not the uh, the super top end ones here we go Oasis here's another one got um Water and fire. Oof, yeah, exceptional sight. Excellent. Root spire. And another foil. Wow, okay. Raking it in on the foils here. Flood plane, another exceptional. And another Frazetta art. Ruler of Thule. A unique mortal of hibernal majesty. It's got charge. Just wanted to see. No, but it's got the regular back. It's great. The Frazetta art seems like extra special. Sandstorm, pit vipers. Ooh, we got a foil enchantress. Your avatar of transcendent triumph. Right. So we've only found in the actual packs one other avatar. Just the basic sorcerer. So the foil ex transcendent enchantress seems pretty good. That's great. Tap to play or draw a sight. Which I think a lot of the I think most of the avatars do that. That's how you get your mana basically whenever you cast a spell you may animate target aura until your next turn it's an aura minion with power equal to its cost yeah that's saying that seems seems pretty good if you want to play enchantress very cool all right so we'll go to sleep on that one humble village Yeah, raking them in here. I'll sleeve up my unique Frazetta art and this dual land here. Not sure if I missed any other exceptional duels in here. Let me check. Now that you kind of know what I'm looking for, I will hopefully. Yep, there they are. That was another duel. So they're relatively uncommon then. All 
Oh yeah. This is like the slowest unboxing ever, I know you guys. So if you haven't already, feel free to skip to the end. <laughs> I'm just having fun with this. Watchtower, dagger, another foil coming up. Mix air, that's a good one, right? An elite potion of effervescent elixir. Sacrifice it this turn bearers. Next air spell requires no threshold and costs three less to cast. So nice discount spell for your for your air spells. So that would go into any air deck, I would imagine. Oil, mortality, teleport, midnight rug. We're still running into cards that we haven't seen yet in the in the ordinary slot. Rimland nomads. Tufted turtles. Look at these guys. Grass turtles, men of Ling, and the village. All right, so a couple of sleeves. Mix air, even even though it's not a uh, foil, I think that's what I would call a hit. All right. Oh, what's this one? Bedrock. Very cool. Shade. Madness, Grandmaster Wizard, an elite mortal of arcane expertise. Ah, Genesis, when you when you, you cast him for six and you can draw three spells. Yeah, it's probably pretty solid for this game, right? Some kind of foil coming up. You got zombies, spin attack, crones, lightning bolt again, dead of night demon, and an astral Alcazar. Wow, look at this. An elite site drifts through infinity. Oh, I love that. It's just out there in space. Units can move between this site and any void as if they were adjacent. Wow, that seems cool. It's, it feels special to get like a uh, an elite foil right there. And I, I haven't even seen that card in, in non-foil yet. Blizzard, Riptide, Overpower, and a Desert. Great. <clears throat> has like you can feel just a slight emboss on the words there can't feel it through the sleeve though so that's good come on get in there stacking up these foils here and I'll just put this one in the, uh, the elite pile and this one goes in the elite pile I'm people are gonna see this video like the time before you start watching and be like, man, he must open a whole case. No, it's just one box. Upwelling. Death Speaker. There's another avatar. Your avatar turns death into dominion. Tap to player draw sight. You may cast one dead minion each turn and pay zero and four zero. If you're on death's door. Okay, okay. Whenever you summon a minion this way, banish it. Wow. Great. Get the Amazon Warriors, Swamp Buffalo. Mortality, Cavalry, Troll, Bone Rabble, these are great, the Blizzard, and that's that's a lot of detail on the Blizzard right there, okay, Death Speaker, so it was in the rare slot, but it doesn't have a, like a, like a difference on the Avatar, like if it's a unique or elite or anything like that. Your avatar turns death into dominion. I mean, you can just kind of tell he's kind of better than the basic sorcerer, especially if you're gonna work around like zombie minions, stuff like that. All right, here we go. Shifting sands, reactivate the genesis abilities of your nearby deserts. Huh? that's good for your desert deck, right? Root Spider and an Iceberg. Exceptional Iceberg. East West Dragon, an elite dragon of long horizons. It moves freely sideways. Wow. So other min creatures can't move sideways as freely. Interesting. Wild Ice Turtles. Snow Leopard, that's a new one. Wild Boars, I don't think I've seen that one really. Polar Bears and the, the Humble Village seems like a pretty common land, so that makes sense. 
is a blast. Iron Shackles, Bridge Troll, Dwarven Digging Team, Scorched Earth, Elite Magic of Magic of Dire Desperation. Choose any number of sites you control. Destroy each of those sites and everything there. Wow. That's quite a stone rain right there. Wow, you can, any number of sites you control. So if your if your opponent is taking over the game and he's on your sites and about to like do you in, just destroy all of it. That's a great board wipe there. Pirate ship, leopard, Fenvale Muse, Riptide, Spring River. All right. I did say I was going to pick up the pace, right? This video is going to be super long. Crave Golem, Evil Presence, Blaze, Major Explosion. All right, so yeah, like on the grid, um, you can have damage radiate out from the central location with a card like this. Target location, location up to two steps away. Deal damage to each unit at locations in the area of effect. Great. Seems good. Zombies, bears, bolts, heat ray, and a gothic tower. There's a lot of different sites here. The like the village is common, but there are quite a few uh, other sites that are not seemingly as common in the ordinary slot. Oh gosh. Most of these packs have been pretty easy to open. This one was a little weird. A little bit extra. Here we go. Wow, cone of flame. So you can just blast out fire starting from here. It does like diminishing damage. Geyser, slumbering giantess, and sisters of silence. Elite mortals not to be disturbed. Other nearby minions lose all non basic abilities. Wow. That seems good too. Vile imp. Turtles, scorpions, good old scorpion. There we go. Okay, moving right along. Wow, okay. All of a sudden, the packs are hard to open. <laughs> oh my gosh. Am I just losing my touch? That's probably what really it is. Es Eskillian Cyclops, this guy's great. Doesn't strike back while defending. Wow, okay. So it's just a wall that can attack. Interesting. Updraft Ridge. I like all the different like lands and sites. That's one of the things I've always loved about Magic. Um, the, the different, even the basic lands just have so much great art. And then all the different types of lands that you can get a hold of that do different things. It really like puts you into the the plane where you're at, right? Rest in peace and elite aura. Um, so yeah, this is this is a really cool aspect where you just get to get the feel of whatever zone you're in here. Always really like that. Disenchant the stalker. Giant shark, get out of there! Oh my gosh, submerged in water man, so it has to be on a water site. Guile sirens, oh these are great too. Wind blast, queen of Midland, unique mortal, comely and covetous. After an opponent draws a card, if they have more cards than you, you may draw a card. Wow, wow, and that just sits there. And if if they have more cards than you, and they draw a card, you get to draw a card every time. That seems good. Bone Ravel. Humble Village. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of those. Seems like the most common Atlas card. Headless Haunt. Yeah, that's great. We're still seeing cards we haven't seen before. Wind Sylph. Divine Healing. Packed with the devil. 
Unique magic commands a heavy price. Sacrifice the caster or lose half your life rounding up. If you do, draw three cards. Wow. So what is the caster? Is it the, it's not your avatar. It would be then the site that you cast this from. I've still got a lot to learn about this game, but uh, I'm loving it here. Cloud Spirit, Mad Dash, Sleep, Red Desert. Tring Constrictor, exceptional beast that crushes you. Gargoyle, Werewolf. Doomsday Prophet prognosticates the end. Nearby units take double damage except from strikes. The end is not. There's flavor text there. Dispel. The ordinaries. Men of Lang. There's a sorcerer again. Lucky Charm, Exceptional Relic. Yep, all the exceptionals are just uncommon. Tor's Hammer Trinket and Shield Maidens, nice. A Gross Poltergeist, Elite Spirit and Ghost in the Shell. Great, Unravel. Gonna go a little quicker through the, uh, the Ordinaries. <clears throat> this box had 39 packs in it actually so like I think one of the Kickstarter stretch goals was that they would increase the size of the box from 36 to 39 so it's taking a long time because of that as well flood raise dead that's great summon a random dead minion font of life each ally heals an amount equal to the number of sites in its body of water and a elite beast Carchemish Chimera Deadly, defiant, and fierce can simultaneously attack up to three units at the same location. Wow, that's cool. That is like, that's an interesting style right there. The mermaids, blood ravens, heat ray, and the autumn river. All right, don't slow down on the foils here, box. Let's get those foils. Peregrine apparition. Man, look at this. Like a spirit avian hawk person. <laughs> Brobdignag bullfrog. Oh, I love it. An exceptional beast with a giant appetite. Genesis Brobdignag bullfrog swallows another target minion here. He carries it disabled in his belly until he leaves the realm. That's an interesting me mechanic. I think there are frog tokens or there's like things that can generate frog tokens. This thing can grab one, take it with him, and then like look spit him out and then he's got a minion next to him that's great outback strider assorted animals there we go another copy of that the elite tutor trolls common sense every time i open one of these packs it kind of messes up that last card so i gotta watch out for that the Skirmishers of Mu, Buried Treasure, X marks the spot for these exceptional relics, Frost Nova, and Chains of Prometheus, wow, the Arrogance of Man, Goons, Cloud Spirit, there we go, I need a drink. <sighs> yup, Thirsty Work. Opening sorcery packs. Tragedy Worrywart. Units nearby take no damage from magic spells. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. Better safe than sorry. It says, whoops, hold on. This one goes here. The shield wall. That's classic art right there. Albus Spine Pikeman and a Flame Wave. Wow, elite magic ravages the realm. That does not look pleasant. Flame wave flows horizontally from one edge of the realm to the other. Deal damage to each unit atop sites in the area of effect. Man, that's devastating. That just a, it's almost a board wipe. Barry. All right. 
getting some duplicates of uh, these ordinaries now at this point, which is good for your decks that you're trying to build, right? You got the Pudge Butcher again. Oh, we got a foil coming up. Floodplain, Roiling Boulder, and a Nightmare. I've always loved the original Nightmare. It's one of my favorite cards. Let's see how this one stacks up. I'm oh, sorry. The, the original Nightmare from Magic the Gathering is what I'm talking about. An Elite Undead of Torment and Terror. At the end of your turn, for each enemy minion here, you may push it to an adjacent location or void. Yeah, very different take on the Nightmare. But this thing was push around your, your opponent's uh, minions, so that seems nightmarish, right? That's pretty cool. Minor Explosion, Fire Harpoon, Swamp Buffalo, Spell, we got a Blaze, Exceptional Magic. So we got an uncommon uh, foil here, that's really cool. Beast of Burden, and a Sight. Alright, get this off. Uh, There's that. Put this in the foil stack. Let's get a couple more foils. That'd be great. I believe the big card out of this set is the Philosopher's Stone. Maybe equivalent to a Black Lotus. Could we get lucky? Quarrelsome Kobolds, Archer, Hunter, Squirming Mass, Elite Beasts, Writhe and Wriggle, Pirate Ship, Leopard, Boars. Guile Sirens, exceptional merfolk. That looks really nice in foil. Look at the it just captures the the clouds. Very nice. I love the foiling. Drought. Ballista, Wills, Wills o' oh, the Wisp. Interesting. Crossroads, Elite Sight. There it is, yeah. Genesis, look at your next four sites. Put three on the bottom of your Atlas. Wow, so it's like a scry. Well, sort of like a scry three. It's, you know, look at four and pick one to go on top, basically. That's cool. Spell. Princess Wizard. Kind of adjust this stuff here. Alright, just a few packs left. If anyone sat here and watched me fumble through all of this, then I appreciate you. Uh, Chain Lightning, Scavenger Fiend, House Arn Bannerman, Dwarven Forge, an elite site with, with Swart and Sweaty Artisans. Anyone may conjure weapons and armor here. And for one less. <clears throat> Interesting. So I guess you build that around your weapons and armor deck. And hope your opponent doesn't do the same. Heat Ray. Disenchant. Upwelling. Iron Shackles. Recall again. Wrath of the Sea. Elite Magic. Of merciless deluge, flood all sites adjacent to a body of water this turn, then submerge all minions and artifacts on water. Wow, it's got some like powerful effects that can happen across the entire board, I think. So that could lead to some wild games. Ice Lance in a simple village. Alright, Blast, Poison Nova, Pudge Butcher. This is cool. Zeph Zephyran Airship. Elite mortals take to the skies airborne with movement two. May carry any number of allied minions. Yeah, it's like a transport ship. We got a vehicle here. That's cool. Teleport. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Abrupt relocation. Spring River. Dagger, Albatross, Phantasmal Shade, Ghost Ship, Elite Spirit, Sail, Undying Seas, Void Walk. Whenever Ghost, ghost Ship enters a site from the void, you may summon a spirit from any cemetery to its location. Wow. 
there's cemeteries, there's burrowing, there's lands. It's like got a lot going on here. Incinerate, wall of fire, fade. I haven't seen that one yet. I don't think. The art. I'm telling you, man. The art. All right, last pack. One more foil. Come on, let's go. Madness, Fey Changeling, Moon Clan Werewolf, Sneak Thief, an elite mortal burgles and burrows, stealth. Tap to steal an artifact out of the hands of another target unit here and stay stealth. That's cool. That's some good flavor there. Lampreys, Spirit, Harpooners, Imp, Mage Slayer, Tough to Turtles, and another humble village. That does it for my first box of Sorcery Contested Realm. I've been waiting a long time to get my hands on this set, and it did not disappoint. The art is amazing. The game looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. The foils seem fun and awesome to be able to, to pull them. Uh, I think I did pretty good on my pulls here. I'll have to double check some of these ones that seem really good. Definitely the, uh, the Onyx Core is a, a good hit um, so yeah, yeah I had a lot of fun so uh, thanks for watching this is way too long of a video for one box but I really just want to take my time and enjoy this art and hang out with you guys um, if you're joining me here at the end um, this is what I got hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you next time